Akashic attacked us out of the blue. And there's no telling when they might be back. You'd best keep that sword handy, Sid. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. Martha, it's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? This is no time to ride. The barricades we've set up around the town won't hold the Akashic back for long. Might buy us a few moments to say our last farewells, though. Come on. Run like the wind. Wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wademen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? Sir Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? 
Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you anon. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. My... My brothers. Oh, do you? Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty.
Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde? Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for Eastpool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Fiends try to climb Just the walls the here, too. You can and get me back out there. Founder knows where they're gonna show their ugly faces next. Ready, go. Fly, Ambrosia. for the rest. We have to slow them down. Martha and the others won't be ready. Jeez, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, Sir Wade. Shall we?
Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back. But when? And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother... My father did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir so Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I'm a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. I will not let you down, Lord Rossfield. You or my uncle. We shall be staying here for the time being. And not just for the ale. I'll have one of my men escort Oscar to Benemir once he's said his farewells. Mm. 